Thank you. Thank you very much once again. Let me take this opportunity to welcome you back at this one aristocratic channel of ours. And this is Metric Plus Nated Specialist. Ensure that you are hitting the subscription button and ensure that you are sharing to those who are concerned. As this is very, very, very important. When you see this, please watch at, at, up until to the end of it because of it's going to be your part and parcel of your examination when you are writing in November. Okay, and then we are saying that this is geography grade 10, and then this is a, no, a November 2023 examination, which was written last year. So we are going to look at only section A, a section B and C that will later be recorded. It's because of we want you to focus, we cannot put a video uh, maybe for two. So as you are watching this, I want you to also ensure that you are is going to be clustered into a uh, two sections. And then we are saying under section A, we know that it's always uh, the weather and uh, the geomorphology. So we are saying under this uh, weather and, uh, and the climate. And 1.1, we are given a statement to say various options are provided as next to the question number, one book example, 1.1.9, which is a uh, thing that a uh, 1.1.1, it says LA, which means that the last on the carbon dioxide and oxygen that we inhale and exhale. And remember that also the plant the nitrogen it is foundable. Where is the correct answer? If we are moving on again in one point, uh, the process where contact with the warm the conduction. And then we are saying one a light of the warm air decreases with the height. So we are saying here the uh, more height or the more up you go, the colder it becomes. The higher you go, the colder. It being on here, we are to see by uh, we are saying that the question is uh, the air here, the vapor that it is uh, created by the cool. Remember, the rain and the thunderstorms are occurring, right? And then in 1.1.7, we are saying that the temperature at which the condensate is temperature. So the dew point temperature, it is a uh, the condensation a process uh, of which the water vapor takes. And then you get your seven mark. And then in 1.2, they say study the sketch of the layers of the air, which you are seeing the exosphere. Then we are having the thermosphere, the mesosphere, the stratosphere, and the troposphere. Refer to the content that we have given this. We have explained it further there. And then they say identify the layer zone. Uh, ozone is found. It's found on the stratosphere. That is the answer. So the stratosphere, here it is a, a stratosphere. Then we've got the ozone. Uh, that is here, and then uh, if we are moving on again, uh, that we can find that is the answer there. And then if ever we are moving on again, and uh, let us understand that right. And then if ever we are moving on again, and uh, we are in question 1.2.2, they say here, name the layer responsible for protecting the earth against a uh, dangerous ultraviolet light, which is the uh, direct light that they come from the sun. And that is the stratosphere because of the are near to the earth. In 1.2.3, they say identify the layer which separates the uh, troposphere and the stratosphere. We know that the layer that super, uh, separates the it is the troposphere. The troposphere, and then name the layer where all a uh, producing processes occur. The producing or uh, processes they occur at the troposphere. That is where they take place. That is why I'm saying, uh, refer back to the content for uh, term one that we have uh, entailed here. And then, uh, which layer is responsible for protecting the earth against the dust and the rocks from the space? We are saying that is the mesosphere. It protects us from the dust particles. Coldest layer of the atmosphere, that is also uh, the mesosphere. It is one of the coldest layer in which a layer will oxygen be found. It will be found on the troposphere, that is the answer in 1.2.7. And the last question is that uh, 1.2.8, in which layer will long distances craft fly? They will fly at the, the stratosphere, the stratosphere degree max. If we are moving on again, uh, we are in 1.3, whereby we are given an instruction to say, study the infographic on the greenhouse effect. So this is an effect based on the global air greenhouse gas emission by the economic sectors. So we are seeing that the electricity and the heat production, I think we must zoom it so that we can see properly what I'm talking about. So we are seeing that uh, 
electricity then um, and the production of uh, electricity in is 25% agriculture and forestry and other land 24 building 6 transport 40 industry 21 and others is 10 greenhouse effect you know uh, that is the a uh, picture that we are given there all right and then i want us to move right away to now uh, the content okay and then in 1.3.1 there is a question and it says explain the concept greenhouse effect there is it i've written it here eh? in 1.3.1 it is the process whereby heat is trapped close to the surface of the air then you get your mark here your two marks is here in 1.3.2 according to which pie graph which sector contributes the most to the greenhouse emission globally that is electricity or the heat production how can you see that we see it here because it leads to 25 percent which is the one of the largest number here all right and then uh, if ever we are moving on again uh, we are to see that we are having some other questions uh, correlated to this concept all right and then uh, if we are seeing we are having the uh, 1.3.3 name one gas a greenhouse gas emitted by this sector that is the co2 which is the carbon dioxide in 1.3.4 explain how the continuous emission of greenhouse air gases into the atmosphere will have a negative impact on the environment so how can it have a negative impact on the environment number one it is that the global temperature rises and it leads to the melting and that number two we are going to have more drought in this and people will suffer in terms of the food that they can eat if there is more drought then for four marks you are getting your marks there and then in 1.5 uh, 1.3.5 it says suggest three strategies this sector in 1.3.2 can be in a uh, house cases number one is that we save electricity number two we switch to renewable a uh, carbon tax uh, resources and then uh, those are the aspect uh, that we keep six marks and then if ever we are moving on here we are to see that and we are having the study of the sketch on the type of rainfall uh, on the left hand side uh, the y-axis we are having the altitude and then uh, when we are moving on we can see that the higher the altitude is the more uh, now uh, evaporation in terms of moist will move and then uh, what we can see is that uh, on the warm, warm ocean the water cycle will uh, start to take place leading to this vegetation here uh, being a uh, fertile so we are saying that they will hear soil erosion on the other side because of there is an absence of the rain and uh, because of the mountain it is so steep all right and then if ever we are moving on we have to see that in 1.4.1 they say identify the type of rainfall in this uh, sketch it is an orographic sketch in 1.4.2 on which side of the mountain is a uh, vegetation found, Vinvard or the Yenvard? So uh, we are seeing that uh, this is the vegetation uh, that is found on the Yenvard. Uh, then we are seeing the answer there. It is the Vinvard. And then if ever we are moving on, I give one reason why more vegetable vegetation will be growing on this side of the mountain. Uh, answer there. We are seeing the sides of the mountain, they receive a uh, more rain. They have a um, the fertile soil in 1.4.4 they say uh, explain uh, how this type of rainfall is formed so uh, how is formed is that uh, based on this sketch here so you can see let me show you we are saying this is the warm ocean what is going to happen when this uh, sun is hitting the warm ocean what is going to take place the evaporation will uh, be taking place and the evaporation will be uh, missing with the dust particles to form a uh, what we call this particular cloud the cumulonimbus cloud which will cause the rain and the rainfall eh, will rain at eh, this particular eh, site causing these vegetables to be eh, fertile so we are saying that if ever we are checking here we say that the warm oils eh, warm moist will rise from the ocean eh, it will go up the mountain facing up eh, and then eh, we can see this eh, cause the air to cool eh, when it rises which will lead to the rainfall that is the last aspect that we must uh, write all right and we are to see that uh, we are having one uh, 
important aspect of work and uh, that we need to get done with. So as you can see here, uh, this is the symbiotic weather map station. So we need to weather station whereby we've got the tropical cyclone. Uh, here you can see the even tropical cyclone is there. And then you can see that uh, there is the temperature, the dew point temperature and the actual temperature at this instinct. And then we are anticipating a uh, low pressure at this side. And then all these necessities they are given in terms of uh, studying what is important. And then in 5.1, they are asking, what is the synoptic weather map? So we are saying this is the temperature uh, that covers the whole world or that uh, covers globally. Then you get your mark. What is the season of the map? It is in summer. Why? Because of these high temperatures. And then in 1.5.3, give reason for your answer. It is because of we are anticipating the high temperatures, 20 to 17. You can see there in the Cape Town. So you can see also uh, there it is 27 to 16. That is the high temperature. And in Uppington, 29 as that we are talking about. And then what type of the pressure cell is found on the synoptic weather map? That is a high pressure. And then uh, thank you very much for listening on and tuning on on this module. Ensure that you are hitting the subscription button and ensure that you are following section B of this content. Thank you very much for your time.